Well, today is World Hypertension Day, and high blood pressure is the primary risk factor for cardiovascular disease. Now, according to the CDC, 29% of U.S. adults have high blood pressure. Hypertension increases with age from about 7.5% in adults ages 18 to 39 to 33 percent in those ages 40 to 59 and 63 percent of adults age 60 plus. But hypertension is also on the rise in kids and if left unchecked, it can have a lifetime of negative consequences. High blood pressure in kids is on the rise, with elevated blood pressure being found in about 6% of kids and actual hypertension in 3%. That's nearly 1 in 10 children and adolescents with blood pressure concerns, some the result of blood vessel problems or heart issues. But the growth in pediatric hypertension is tied to expanding waistlines. As the obesity epidemic really rages among children as well, is that we're seeing much more um, blood pressure um, elevations and hypertension among children and adolescents. Dr. Zubin Modi, a pediatric nephrologist at CS Mott Children's Hospital, says with really high blood pressure, kids may complain of headaches or vision changes, but most kids have no symptoms at all. Still, damage to blood vessels, the heart, and kidneys can occur. So identification and early intervention is key. In early childhood, we do a good job because kids are seen regularly and they're going for things like vaccine, vaccines and things like that. That starts to tail off. As kids get older and doctor's visits become less routine, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends screening all patients for hypertension annually and high-risk patients at each visit beginning at age three. Dr. Modi says once other causes are ruled out, he treats high blood pressure in kids a lot like in adults, focusing on diet, exercise, and lifestyle style changes. Medication is a last resort. So we're trying to kind of prepare children for their entire lives. Also, you know, prepare them for the good habits that they're going to need to maintain those blood pressure um, kind of levels throughout the course of their lives. Which is key because new research presented at the American Stroke Association's International Conference this year suggests high blood pressure in younger adults in their 20s and 30s may be tied to brain changes in midlife that can lead to an increased risk of cognitive decline. Well, the point here is that screening is key, even in kids and younger adults. And in those younger adults, more aggressive treatment may be needed to prevent neurological changes later in life. We tend to think of high blood pressure as something that affects older Americans, but clearly very important for younger Americans too.